Yeah. Jerry, I want to ask you, like, another room that I think is underrated right now, you lose Brenton Strange, yeah. second-round pick to the Jags, but you got Theo Johnson back. You got Tyler Warren. You, Dinkins, the whole room is deep. I mean, I played with Pat Frymuth. I mean, yeah. four, four or five tight ends from Penn State since 2018 are in the NFL now. Yeah. How has that room elevated, the depth there? What's that dynamic been like? I feel like it's only getting better and better. Like, we just added two, two more younger guys, too, so, like, it's continuing to build. Like, Theo, you know, he's, this is supposed to be his breakout year this year. Tyler Warren as well. Khalil, he's been getting way better. Of course, I've been growing, and we got two other young guys, so. Tell me about him. How you, like, Joey? Yeah, like, to Joey, Joey, rap. rap. Like, yeah. Joey, ball skills. He got great ball skills. Rap all around. Like, I see him being the next Pat Fryer move here. Yeah. Like, that, he, mm -hmm. That's who a lot of people on the team say you remind him of. So For sure. Yeah. Definitely, I think so, too. So, but, yeah, our room is, is deep. Loaded. And. It, it, it highlights on the trend I want to talk about. We already talked about Losey. When Galt mm -hmm. left, he got promoted. Ty Howe was a GA at Penn State. Yeah. And you know the normal route for GAs is, boom, you do that for two years. You got to go to a small school, yeah. climb the ladder. Mm -hmm. Shout out Franklin because he was like, nah, Ty Howe is ready right now. Mm -hmm. um, he elevates him. Deion Barnes, another guy, young guy, goes right, mm -hmm. right from a GA to being the defensive line coach at Penn State football. It's no small task. Mm -hmm. And it's cool, especially when they're guys that played at Penn State. Mm -hmm. That yeah, you're promoting played, within. Like really play too. Yeah. I mean, look at I mean, that's just but that's just Penn State, right? That's why you come here and like our alma mater. I mean, look at this podcast. Yeah. Like what we got, like Adam played here. Yeah. It's crazy how Penn Staters work with Penn Staters mm -hmm. and it always will be like that. And it, it, it's just like when we talk about Franklin recruits the parents. It that's that's only work for us because, you know, when we're growing up impressionable and everything, our parents know better than us. And like they and he when he when they understand and want to work with him, that just shows the maturity from their standpoint. Understanding that they they trust him to leave their kid, their son, with them, mm -hmm. that that they're getting a good they're going to get a good man afterwards. And that it, I mean, look at our, look at our program, look at the alumni and alma mater from our program and how it's translating into. It's NIL. like it's not like Coach Frank just sit there and talk about football. Like he's talking about education. You mm -hmm. growing as a man as well. So like your mom or your dad here and that they of course they're gonna they gonna rock with it because like that's what that's all they want to hear. That's mm -hmm. all they want to see is the, the kid Real talk. to be a good a good person, a good have a good education and also if they can, you know, prepare the football as well. So